Welcome to this channel. So today I like to share with you something extremely critical or important for traditional Chinese martial arts, for Chinese culture, for the so-called internal training, for the Qigong training. Now, the information here, which I'm going to share, is really uh, little because this is an information error. Information, if you use wrongly, it can be really destructive. And since heaven give me this information, I don't know why I got this. So it must be an act of the heaven. So I have to be very really careful what I'm presenting and uh, be careful for what is my agenda. I have to check myself, right? So this, what I'm going to share with you is not to attack anybody. It's not to uh, take a jab at anybody or put down anybody, but for educations. So hopefully, once people have these educations, one be able to walk a proper path. Do not continue on whatever which is not proper and continue on what is proper. Only that way everybody can be benefit. Now, the reason I'm sharing this is because yesterday I saw a YouTube from South Asia, a YouTube from South Asia talking about the Shaolin, Qigong, internal art, and so forth, so forth. And many people comment on it. That's why I get my interest. And after I watch it, that's why I want to share this with you. It is a time to put a stop on a type of distortions of misleading. Because distortions or misleading is not going to help anyone. But you're going to screw up things. Now, the first thing I like to talk about is this. When we talk about something, we need to ask ourselves, is it, what is it, or is it my guess? This is very, very important today. We need to be able to differentiate, is it as it is by evidence or it is just my guess? Especially when we share things in YouTube. Do we share the thing as it is or we share thing uh, based on our guessing and then uh, we, you share it out and with an agenda of marketing or sales or so forth, so forth. So what is it about? Now, this is important is because today in Asia, in Southeast Asia, in the West, in the US or in Europe, you can see many things is people's guess and they push it. Okay. For example, there are many qi gong, uh, nei gong, whatever thing. It's their guess, but they push it. And general people, because they cannot differentiate it, they took it as real. 
for past 60 years or so, it has been causing big problem here with this. So as a responsible person, if one is a Sifu or a grandmaster, one need to be really careful on this. Otherwise, one is going to mislead other people. And of course, if the misleading is purpose, because one to show up oneself that one is knowledgeable and twisted the thing, well, then it is up for a business agenda. However, whatever, if it is not proper or true or as it is, you're going to expect that somebody is going to find out. And it's going to get blown in our own face. So number one, be careful from here on. What you say, what you put in the YouTube is the evidence of your screw up. Say thing only if you have evidence. That's the first thing. That's how the attitude, the behavior. If we are a martial artist, martial artist is seeking for truth. We need to speak the truth, not speak what I think or my agenda. Now, the second thing is Zen. Buddha Dharma is not philosophy. For heaven's sake, anybody who want to talk about the Shaolin Zen or Bodhidharma, go practice it, learn it, practice it in depth before talk about it. Otherwise, again, you're misleading people. Okay? You're not going to get anywhere but misleading people. So you want to talk about Shaolin, Zen, Bodhidharma, better one be really clear on what one is talking about. One need to be have the experience, have the real deal. Okay? Not those uh, religious stuff, not those uh, uh, dropping name stuff, but know what it is. Now, when we want to talk about Shaolin, Shaolin, be careful. Is it Shaolin, the real Shaolin, or it is the Shaolin term used by the anti Qing? To just to to, uh, to 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 fire up the people to to, to join them for anti ching Today's like the, the the story of Wing Chun, the story of many martial arts, the story of this uh, Southern Shaolin. Many many of this story is just. A lie is nothing to do with Shaolin Temple, but a lie which is using by the anti Qing to provoke the hatred towards the, the, the Qing because they want revolution. They are using people. So, for example, when you heard that uh, Wing Chun, uh, there's one of the Wing Chun saying, saying that Wing Chun is using hatred, resentment as the the, uh, the, the, the the core mentality of Wing Chun. You know that is just using by the anti Qing. It's not true. So I need to show you evidence, right? This is a, a, a two books, which is uh, really popular. It start with Shaolin, okay? Shaolin, there are two books here. So in the early or the mid 1900s, Tang Hao have go research it. And they found out that a lot of things is just using for 
provoking uh, or the 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 the, the uh, stir up of the people by the uh, by the by the uh, by the anti Qing. So that's not real real Shaolin. So Southern Shaolin, there are a lot of different stories, but those are just stories. Like the burning of Fine Jade Association, the Red Boat Fine Jade Association, that have a code name of burning of the Southern Shaolin too. So which Shaolin is which Shaolin? It is a mess. So we need to know that when you get into the Shaolin, oh, this is the teaching of Shaolin. Be really careful. That's why. Please go read this book. This is from Tang Hao. Okay, you can find out more. Many things in, in, in Chinese martial arts is, uh, is really problematic. Like the, from the Shaolin, from the Tai uh, Tai Chi, that's why Tang Hao doing uh, many research, and uh, people don't like him. And at one time, people just uh, block him, want to beat him up. Today, this is 2020, and this is United States. We want to know this, the truth not again being used by people and we still don't know what is going on again we don't know what exactly is zen but keeping talking about zen thinking that oh this is a philosophy so Shaolin we need to be watch out for this the third thing the term Nei Gong the Term Nei Gong is popular start in 1850. Okay. The term Nei Gong. The term Qi Gong exists in the year 300. Like today is 2021, year 300. But the term Qi Gong was not used until the early 1900. And it get popular after 1950. And the term, the Hat Chi Gong, is made popular after 1987. So Qi Gong is after communist China uh, being popularized to use the term. So 1950s, people use that term Qi Gong, start to use, become popular. 1987, you have the term Hat Chi Gong. Okay, so this is where the term is. Now the truth is, Nei Gong, Qi Gong are general term. Okay, Nei Gong could be for health or could be for martial arts. Qi Gong could be for health or martial arts. I need to prove to you, right? This is Yi Jing Jing. This is Yi Jing Xi Sui Nei Gong. This is not linked to martial art directly. It's called Nei Gong. Ancient book. 18, after 1850s book. This is a Shaolin martial art uh, uh, Qi Gong. So you say that Qi Gong. Qi Gong, say it clearly. Shaolin, 1930s. This is for the anti impact martial art purpose. Qi Gong. So one is the 1930s uh, from Shaolin, before Shaolin was burned down by the warlord. 
for martial art, they call it Qi Gong. And this is the Yi Jing Jing, Xi Sui Jing, is called Nei Gong, not directly related to martial art. Here you relate to because uh, there's an anti impact here. And the strike stuff here. Okay. So you can get it from this book from uh, Jin Jin Zhong, Hunian Yi Qi Gong. So do not define our style saying that or oh, Shaolin have Nei Gong and then Nei Gong is advanced and Qi Gong. Well, this both are just general term. In the ancient, the ancient, they don't do this uh, uh, this uh, general they do it really specific for example the six healing breath so is the uh, martial arts or it is for hell the six healing breath okay is that qi gong or nei gong what the ancient call it six healing breath. It doesn't tell you this is six healing breath qi gong or six healing breath nei gong. Today we can say yes, it is six healing breath qi gong. It is six healing breath nei gong. Because I can use the six healing breath for my health and I can use the six healing health in the martial arts for different purpose. The same thing is like the Ermei tiger step, hu bu gong which is using for training the lower parts of the body. You can, within that, you can use it for health and you can use it for the, uh, for the, uh, the, 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 the martial purpose of the kicks. Same thing as we see just now, the Yi Jing Jing, so what is that? So the truth of the ancient is, is it a Liu Zi Jue? Is it a Hu Bu Gong or Tiger Step Gong or is it a Yi Jing Jing? They call it that way. They, they don't say this is Qi Gong, this is a Nei Gong. Whenever people are using this term in mix and try to differentiate from here and here and all kind of stuff for that, you know that there's their speculations. You know that they never really studied this in the history with evidence. They don't know what it is. Okay. So a lot of things are hearsay, and a lot of things is just. I think this. I think that. Now. The seventh. This is the eighth. The seventh. People today like to talk about internal structure or be able to pressure test, take force in and take force uh, uh, and, and return force, those kind of stuff, okay? And uh, thinking those are Nei Gong and so forth, so forth, so forth. Well, th those are the modern creation. Many of the so-called pressure tests of taking force, it just tricks, it just tricks. And so-called internal structure, meaning that one really don't know what it is. And uh, often this is a copy of uh, the Tai Chi saying, because the, 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 uh, the Tai Chi propaganda have no clue what they're talking about. So they set up something and somebody copy it. And then just put it, oh yeah, my Wing Chun have this too. I have this, be able to return for... Those are just a modern creation. Those are not what it is. You want to know what it is? Of course, you're going to ask me, right? And I have to provide you evidence, right? So if you have really the internal development, okay? Be it you call it Qi Gong or Nei Gong, you really, really know it. 
like people who practice anapanasati, as you can heard, I always brought up anapanasati. Why? Because in the anapanasati, it hidden a process, sequence of process, milestone, which is the Taoist, the yogic, everybody using it. Why? Because we are just human. So anybody who really go to the Shaolin, who really, really practice Buddhism or Buddha Dharma, who really, really have the Shaolin Gong Fu, guess what? You check them. The first they're going to develop their breathing. Their breathing. They have to transform their breathing pattern. Well, anapanasati, the first simple thing is counting your breath, right? That's the beginning of it. You need to be able to develop to transform your breathing. And then you get to the transformations of your blood vessel, your uh, neuro, your 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 uh, neural systems, and your cell. So the first is the wind element. You practice anapanasati. You start with the wind elements. With the wind elements, you get into the water elements, which is the flow. So wind is the breathing, in Chinese called qi. Uh, in the uh, water, this is water element, which is your blood circulations, your nerve systems, your, uh, your cells. This is called mai. So when people say xiu qi mai, like in the, uh, uh, what do you call that? The, the Wing Chun Inception. Or the uh, in the if you have the I don't have the here but uh, in the Wing Chun Inception in the uh, in the writing in the uh, 1850 Shilin Tao writing it say something like that like the Y22 if you check Y22 it say following following nature spontaneously the breathing and the mind, the chi flow, okay? That you can see the character chi and mind there. This is the two, two level, okay? So after you transform the water element, you go up one step. That is where the fire element, which is the Kundalini. So breath, circulations kundalini the third sequence and then after the kundalini or the fire it is the earth which is to transform your physical body so this sequence is a must for any human being if they really really have the real development of the mind body energy okay so when i check people be it you from Erme, Zhuang, from shaolin from taiji from whatever i check you this i look at your your wind handling your breathing handling i look at your water or your blood circulations or your mind handling and then the kundalini and the and the body physical transformations if you want to have a physical transformation you have to go through this okay look back today you talk about internal structure internal what just look at the breathing you just look at the breathing the, the breathing is like the other day we say that we have the the the, the, qi lu, the uh the breathing pathway have you developed that if you develop that, you you will know about the you are aware about your intra abdominal pressure because you develop it, and then on top of that, you get into the circulations, the the the, the qi flow, 
the meridian flow. On top of this is energy, is your Kundalini, evoke of that. And then only that you transform your body. Look around in this world today. How many have this? Most, 99.999% is just hearsay. It's just playing with this term. It's just playing with tricks. That is the reality. So where do why why do I know this? Where do I know this? Of course, I go study Buddhism, I go study all this development and the entire thing. And me is not important. What important is this knowledge, this information still alive today? Okay. So I am sharing this with you so that everybody be able to have a basic education. Whatever, if it is violating what is the proper here, you know it is problem. And for those so-called uh, practitioner or sifu out there around the world, today I reveal this in United States. Be careful. Because anything you violate, you know you never get there. And I am not the guy to have the say. This is very simple. Do you practice Anapanasati deep enough that you, you see all this? It is documented. Okay. And of course, over here, like your wind your breathing and your mind is one and those kind of uh, so forth, so forth, so forth. There's a lot of details there. Just enter into Samadhi and you'll be able to handle that. So let's not, at least in Wing Chun, we know this truth already. Let's not screw ourselves. Or else we're going to block ourselves. We are not going to progress we're going to screw ourselves and screw Wing Chun and screw the, the, the future generations. So the reason why some people think I'm crazy these days using scientific is what? You have your win calculations? Real? Sure. Show me your VO2 max. Show me your VO2 max. You have your water element development, which is the blood circulations and the the, uh, the the neural systems. Show me your heart rate variability. So I'm a bad guy. Like in Silicon Valley, when you compete, you block people with pattern. So I'm blocking people with the VO2 max, and I'm blocking people with heart rate variability. Scientifically, now, of course, I'm blocking this is not for my money making. I don't pattern it. I just want the world to shape up. We need to present scientifically what we capable to develop. We need to be honest and we need to be able to verify scientifically what is going on. Otherwise, there's no future for the generations. There's no future for Chinese culture, no future for, 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 for the Shaolin Kung Fu and no future for Wing Chun because this is technology. Okay. And of course, other style in Kung Fu can make use of this too. Everybody can make use of this. Why? Because this is an education so that hopefully everybody know it. Everybody benefit here on. And those who make video, YouTube, please put pull it down if you are not sure what you're talking about. 